Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're shown the graph of a curve, a cubic curve. We're given its formula. And we're shown a tangent at the point P. And that's the point where this curve crosses the y-axis. So our first part of this question asks us to find the coordinates of P. And so we'll find the y-intercept, as it's called, by setting x equals 0. All points on the y-axis have an x-coordinate of 0. So y equals 0 cubed minus 3 times 0 squared plus twice 0 plus 5. So that all comes to 5. So we know now the coordinates of the point are 0, 5. And we can add that to the picture. Now, part B, determine the equation of the tangent to the curve at P. And remember, equations of straight lines, we use the formula y minus b equals mx minus a. So facts we need to know are the gradient of the line and also a point on the line, a, b. We certainly know the point on the line is 0, 5. In fact, that would lead us to probably use y equals mx plus c, where c is the point where it crosses the y-axis is slightly easier than using this. So we still need to find the gradient of the point. So that's the y-intercept form there. Uh, so the gradient needs to be found. And the, we know the gradient of a tangent at this point would be the gradient the same as the gradient of this curve at that point. So we would have to look at the equation, the cubic equation, and determine the gradient formula for any point in this curve. So that involves differentiation. dy by dx gives the gradient at any point along this curve. So our rules tell us that that's 3x squared minus 6x plus 2, and the 5 gives us 0 when you differentiate that. So this is the formula for the gradient at any point along this cubic curve. And in particular, when x equals 0, we'll be able to find the gradient at that point p. So when x equals 0, the gradient dy by dx is 3 times 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 2. So that's just 2. And it certainly looks a steep enough line for gradient 2, 1 along 2 up, 1 along 2 up. That's what the gradient of 2 means. So the equation of the tangent, uh, we know the, the gradient of the tangent. That's 2. We know the point on the tangent. That's that point, 0, 5. So we're now in a state to use the y equals mx plus c as the simplest way. So the equation of the tangent is y equals 2x plus 5. So all set for the last part. Find the coordinates of q, the point where this tangent meets the curve again. So for point Q. Now, point Q lies both on the curve and on that straight line tangent. So we have to solve these two equations together to find a y and an x value that satisfies the cubic equation and also the straight line equation. So we would set these equal to each other. I want them both to be the same. So let's subtract 2x from both sides and let's subtract 5 from both sides. We can see we're ending up with a cubic equation. 2x disappears and the 5s disappear. And it's a, a nicer one to 
solve because it's got a uh, x squared as a common factor which comes out side brackets and leaves us x minus 3 equals 0. So we're basically left with x times x times x minus 3 being 0. So either x is 0 or x equals 3. Now remember, solving these two equations simultaneous, we're asking where does this straight line, the tangent, meet this curve? And we've found it meets in two places, at x equals 0. That's the point P. It's 0, 5. So that's not the one we're after. When x equals 3, and that makes sense, x equals 3. So we have to find the coordinates of the point Q. When x equals 3, now remember Q lies on both the cubic and the straight line curve. Well, certainly we'd be daft using this one. It's harder calculation. Let's use the straight line equation to find the y coordinate. So y equals twice x, 2 times 3, plus 5. It has to satisfy this equation. So that 6 plus 5 is 11. So the point Q is the point 3, 11. And that's the point where that tangent meets the curve again. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.